Hi everyone and welcome to Island Block. Now today I'll be teaching you how to secure your account with two-factor authentication. Now two-factor authentication is a high level of security that enables you to secure your account from hackers and from external access. So now what you would do is for your Binance account, if you would like to enable two-factor authentication, you head over to security and once you click on security, you scroll down and then you see the two-factor authentication you know, menu. Now once you see that, there are several ways you can activate it. There's the security key, there's Google authentication, there's SMS authentication and your normal email address which is automatically activated. So now what you need to do is you can either use a security key or Google authentication. But SMS authentication is not advised. The reason is SMS authentication can easily be accessed by anybody. In fact, if you have your phone lying around, you will notice that anyone can read your messages or in certain countries, it is easy to hack people's SIM cards. So it is not advised. So I'll be teaching you how to activate two-factor authentication using Google Authentication. So the next step you do is you click on on. So after that, you'll be prompted to download the app from Play Store, which is your Apple App Store or your Google Play Store. So once you've downloaded the app, the Google Authenticator app, then you click next. Now this now this menu comes up and this is a very very important menu this is your random code generator and it's as good as part of your login details now if you lose this code and you also mistakenly delete your google authenticator app after you've activated two-factor authentication then it will be hard or almost impossible for you to gain access to your account again so what you need to do is back up this code. Now you can just as easily write this code down somewhere that you know that it won't get missing. And for those that would love to screenshot and back it up on their drive or any other, you know, backup process, it is advised that you delete it immediately. Because there are so many people that have screenshots of their backup code on their screenshot folder and anyone can easily see those screenshots and copy down these codes and later on use it to access your account. So please and please try as much as possible to be very security conscious. So now once you are done backing up this code, you press next and now the, there's a prompt you know, reminding you to back it up because resetting it could take would take at least seven days. Let's say you forget your code and you misplace your code. We're certain it will take at least seven days. So please try as much as possible to back up your code in a very, very secure manner. So once you're done writing down the code, you press next and click on send code. You'll send the code to your email. So now the code I'm supposed to back up, which is the code in step three. Let me go to the previous step. Now what you do is, you copy down this code and head over to your Google Authenticator app. So now in the Google Authenticator app, you would then click this button. Now there's every possibility that you are using the same phone to open your account and also activate your Google Authenticator. So scanning your QR code might not be easy or possible. So you can just click on enter a setup key and then paste the code you copied as your key and enter the account name. You can call it my Binance account and you add. So once you're done with this, once you've added your account, then you go back to the Binance page and then activate it. So you press send code. So once you check your email for the code that will be sent to you, then you use it to activate it. Then the second code you enter is 
your Google verification code. Oh, sorry, I think I got this email verification code wrong. Then the second code you enter would be your Google verification code. So you go over to the Google Authenticator app, copy the code, then go back to your Binance account, paste it, and click on submit. Automatically, you have activated two factor authentication. So now let's say I want to, now I'm logging out of my account to try and log back in. So I'll show you how it works. So now I want to log into my account and I've entered my email and my password. On a normal day, after entering your email and your password, you will automatically be logged into your account. But after you've activated two-factor authentication, which is a very secure step, after pressing your email and your password, you would be told to enter the ver a verification code. So you go back to the app, copy any verification code that is currently showing at that point in time, and paste it and submit and instantly you get access to your account now this is very easy and simple and it will really help in securing your account thank you so much for watching have an awesome day bye, -bye.